What's up guys, Brandon, Jeremy here from FriendOfRC.com giving you our review of the Hyperion EOS 0615i Duo 2K3 Millennium Edition Charger. <laughs> um, you can actually cut off after the Duo 3, but it's a really long, annoying name when you're searching for it on the internet. So this is the first charger I ever bought that didn't plug into the wall, and it's been around for a while and I've got tons of use out of it. It's Pretty complex, so I'm going to start as usual by letting Brandon hit you up with some of the technical details why Vanna White it right here and kind of just show you. So, for those of you it. who haven't upgraded your charger yet, you have one that plugs in the wall already. You may not know, but there's a power supply built into your charger. It converts your big wall power down to battery power. When you get into more high power chargers like this, power supply takes up so much space, it's a separate accessory. And they do that so that you can either buy one or these leads here usually have an alligator clip. You can plug it right into your car battery if you're out on the field, which we use quite often. Mm -hmm. And what you see here are the leads that we use to plug it in to the required power supply. We have a Super Pro 40 here. Uh, it's a ProTech power supply. It's fine for what it is. Um, but we'll probably look at that in a different type of review, but something similar to this is what you're going to need to power this. It's got an enormous amount of charging. You can sync the channels and go all the way up to uh, 12S, 12 S and low. yeah, it's it's unbelievable. It charges very fast. The, the menu is very intuitive. You can get as complex or as simple as, as you want. So like you've got two different users right here on camera. Like I just want to plug in my battery, charge it. It's easy for that. If you want a little bit more tunability, a little more details, you can get to that pretty easily. And using the USB port on the side, you can upgrade the firmware. And uh, it's also got a temp uh, monitoring port on the side as well to just to keep everything level. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, to go off what you're saying, really intuitive. I love Hyperion's menu options. This has the new TCS uh, feature, they call it. Really all that is is an auto LiPo mode where you can plug in your LiPo, like you said, for guys mm -hmm. like you, tell it nothing, hold start, and it will take care of everything else. So automatically select the proper cell rating mm -hmm. and the capacity and charge rate by kind of going off what it sees in the battery. Uh, in terms of the two outputs, this does have two separate outputs. These will each do 6S. So you can have two separate batteries or you can sync them together. But really what this allows you to do is charge two different kind of batteries at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's really like having two chargers in one. And one button, this one right here, switches between the two so there's no guesswork in terms of what you're setting up in there. Yeah, I absolutely love the AutoSense. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's so annoying when you flip over to set up a battery and it starts at 100 milliamps and you have a 5,000 milliamp battery and you have to like... <laughs> Wait Put for it to get up there. Times. Yeah. yeah, so that, that you know that basically covers the technical and cost of operation. You know, other than purchasing the the charger itself, obviously you've got to spend some money on a power supply. And, yeah. You know, I can't say one way or the other what, what I would recommend there, but you know, we use the ProTech 40. It's Amin's house brand. It's mm -hmm. affordable, um, but it's it's worth it's noting fine. that if you like a high power charger like this, you want to get it, but you can't afford a power supply. Again, you can just charge off your car battery to start, and then mm -hmm. later down the road invest in a power supply. That's the whole reason they do it. It gives the end user some options in terms of how they want to power the thing. Yeah, it's always better. I think we talked about earlier when we reviewed this 06i model mm -hmm. that if you're if you're at least know you're into RC and you race for longer than a half hour at a time, it's and you can afford it. So that's a lot of exceptions. Just don't mess around and get something like this mm -hmm. right off the bat, because otherwise you're just never going to be satisfied. And then it rears. The ugly side of electric rears its head there, like we are waiting for batteries to charge and all that sort of stuff. So Right, yeah, invest your money in chargers, something that's more powerful than the batteries you have now because as battery technology progresses, you want a charger that can keep up. You don't want to be putting money in just a ton of batteries, yeah. just six of the same type. With a charger like this, you can buy maybe just one or two and keep them rotating. Yep. It's powerful enough to keep them all charged in under an hour. So Yeah, and that's, and that's really where it scores well on the fun factor. You may wonder, well, <laughs> is a charger really fun? It, 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 I mean, it's just a, it's a, a necessary evil of electric, mm -hmm. and uh, having something like this keeps you running. It's versatile enough that you don't have to, you know, we, so on our shoots, this is what we bring. We plug it into the car battery and go. Like, it just yeah. charges batteries, and um, it just it allows us to have fun for a lot longer with a lot less hassle. Absolutely. And so the value of it, again, like Hyperion, it's quality. You open the box and you buy this, it's got all sorts of like cables and balance boards and all this like nice stuff. The documentation is really nice. Um, the support's really nice with their firmware updates, yep. but you're going to pay a little bit more for it. So if you can afford it, 
it's worth it. But if if you just prefer the, you know, if you're like me and you just want to be able to charge a couple batteries quickly, maybe the Hyperion has a little too too much power, a little too much tunability, and it might not provide a great value for you there. Yeah, I can say the same thing. If you're someone who goes out maybe just on the weekends, you run a couple packs, this might be too much charger for you. If you don't see yourself getting any more involved with it, mm -hmm. you can go one step down in power. But if you're someone who wants to be out there, you'd like to run more, great investment. I mean, something a charger is something you're going to use you know, the rest of your life if you're in the hobby. So mm -hmm. it's good to put your money where, where it makes most sense. Yeah, we've had this for about a year now. and use the hell out of it and i can honestly Scratch report it yeah it's it gets scratches when we put it in the truck and like close the hood on it like it's yeah. been through a lot of uh use and it's we're still running great so i can speak firsthand about you know i've got a couple hyperion chargers we rc nightmare uses hyperion chargers um really by circumstance you know when we got them uh but they're both running great and they're yeah. they're awesome chargers great quality so then, you know, the performance does everything you could want very well. Yeah, you know, you got, when you got this much, I think it's 180 watts per channel. There's not really a battery that's not going to get done in an hour. So mm -hmm. great performance. And then would I go back and buy it again? Well, since I, we still use it every single weekend when we bash or, or whether we're on a shoot or for fun, it's pretty clear to me that, yeah, I absolutely would go back and buy this again. Even today, if I was looking at buying a charger, you know, I'd probably stick with the Hyperion line and something of this fashion. Yeah, the dual chargers, just a great line. I would agree. Everyone, there's a place in everyone's toolbox if you're involved in the hobby to have a two-port charger. And yeah, they have a newer version of these out now. I mm -hmm. would buy it again or I'd just buy the more powerful one if it's out. But absolutely, love Hyperion. Great. All right, well, if you have any questions, post them up on down below or shoot on our website at friendofrc.com. Thanks. See you guys.